Welcome to another video, my name is Jan Stermiecki and today we'll learn how to make simple animation using Adobe After Effects and Adobe Illustrator. Your time is very variable, so let's get started. Just let me play the intro. Okay, so first we need to choose a size of our canvas, so actually the size of our animation. I'm using standard Full HD resolution, which you can also find in Web section and select Web Large. Okay, so I'm in Illustrator now and I'm creating a quick scene. It really doesn't matter what you're creating, just make sure that you have all things layered because that's really really important when doing animation. Okay, so I've decided to make a simple scene with a rabbit and some hills and also some hills in the background so I can really show how important the layers are. This is really not a illustrating tutorial so if you want that in details let me know but I'm going over this quickly now and moving to the animation which is the point of the tutorial. Ok, so once you're done with illustrating, go to Adobe After Effects and create new composition. Make sure to set the same size as you did for illustration and click OK. Ok, so now just drag in your vector file from Illustrator and a menu will pop up. Now you should choose footage and here you should select a layer which You'll, you want to import into Adobe After Effects, so you have to do it one by one, but here to show you, these are the same layers as I have them in Illustrator, so this is why layering is so important. Okay, so let's select the first one, this is my background, and let's quickly repeat this with each layer that I have. Here we go. Place everything and here we go. Now you have your vector file in layers as you had them in Adobe Illustrator and you're ready to start animating. So I'll zoom in just so I can see things better. I want to animate rapid first. So Let's zoom to it, just like that. Now what we'll be using, it's called Puppet Pin Tool. Okay, so with that tool we'll add pins. These are these little dots that appear when you click. And it's really important in what order you place them because they affect each other. So the best practice here is to just try it for yourself and you'll see how different orders will affect your character but you can see me here going back to previous pins just because I want a skeleton to act in a way that I want to and to look normal for a rabbit. Here you can see me moving some pins so this is what pins actually do. I think that's pretty awesome and you can do really complex stuff with that but we'll keep it simple today. So here you can find all your pins, you can move each other around in time so each time you move it, a keyframe will be added and from here on it's all your imagination do whatever you want, it's really simple, I mean there's nothing that hard here, you just have to practice you just have to take time because animating is not a quick process so it takes time but final results are much worth it for animating an object or a character in this case pins are really important but don't forget to animate other things like rotation and scale and stuff like that because this is how you're gonna achieve your final animation. So here you can see my rabbit jumping around and it was all done in like a matter of minutes and from here on it's all about how much time you're going to invest into your animation and yeah. If you want to learn even more, make sure to subscribe, check my other videos and please give this video a like, it would really help me a lot. See you on the next one!